Hey everyone, welcome to the updated 2024 call rail video. And in this video, we're going to go through how to create a swap target on our website with tracking numbers, a call extension on Google ads with a mobile click to call number, as well as troubleshooting any problems that might arise in the future while using call rail. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So here we are on the call rail um, main page here. So before I get started and dive into everything, there will be timestamps in the description below um, for website pool, mobile call extension, and then troubleshooting. So if you just want, if you don't want to watch the whole video, just go ahead, go down there and jump to whatever one you want. Um, but to start this video off, we are going to go through creating a website pool with swap targets. So to do that, let's move myself here and click create at the bottom left hand corner, phone number. And then here's how the setup is going to work. So you're going to go to, I'll use it online on my website, and then you're going to track calls, keywords, and web sessions. Um, since we are doing this for Google ads, we want to know what led up to the call. And then this is going to be the phone number in which you want people to be calling. Um, you can change this at any time. It's just so when someone calls from your website, who do you want it routed to? For this example, we'll just do this dummy number. Tracking options. And then this is important. If you are using this for Google ads, you want to click visitors from Google ads. And click next. And then here you have two options. So we always recommend creating four new tracking numbers just so you have some variety. And then you have the option of either doing numbers specific to your area code. So 888, it'll come up with four um, generated numbers from there. Or if you want to do a toll free number, you can go ahead and do that. It just might be um, an added charge. So we're gonna name this pool website pool, that's fine. And we can go into number features. So you have two options here. You can either one, record your call. Um, this is state by state. So I don't know if your state might be, both parties need to agree to be recorded. One party might need to be agreed to record it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so that is an option for you. You can also have a little message that is um, spoken to them once they call your number. And you also have a whisper message. This goes to you. So if you activate this and someone calls from your website, it's going to say call from Metalogic Design, call from Google Ads Campaign, whatever you want it to say. Um, so let's go ahead and activate the tracking number and get this on our website. So to do that, we're going to click install the JavaScript snippet. And then since we are using WordPress, it's much easier to, to use the WordPress plugin. So you're gonna click WordPress and you're gonna copy this little call reel uh, plugin key down here. So copy to clipboard. Let's go into the back end of our website here. Go to plugins. And then we're going to add the call rail plugin. Install now. Activate. And then this is going to show up in your settings. So you hover over settings, you'll click call rail, and then you're going to paste the um, plugin key you got from call rail directly. Hit save changes. We can go back. And then we now essentially um, tied call rail into our website. So let's go back at here, JavaScript snippet, and we're going to want to test if everything is correct. So let's go ahead and grab our URL, copy, paste, start test. Okay, so after waiting for a little bit here, we finally got our results. So. You can see here that our code snippet has been properly installed. However, our swap target was not found. So what does that mean? So first off, if you don't know what a swap target is, you're going to go ahead, go to tracking, website pool, and click edit. And your swap target is going to be um, whatever number you forwarded the calls to. So when we set up the website pool, you have the option to forward the calls to a certain number. That is going to be the exact same as your swap target. So let's go ahead and go into our website, make sure all of these match. So we have 888 with the hyphens here that matches our first part of our swap target. And our second part is tell 888.888. So mine might look a little different than yours. That's because I already reached out to call rail. 
Um, if you are still having troubles, what you can do with your swap target is click edit, go here, email call rail that you want to um, change your swap target or you use their chat feature on their website and get help immediately. They're super friendly people and they help me out within a matter of seconds. So um, once you have made sure your swap target and everything all matches up and let's say things just, it's still not swapping, right? You're like, what the heck's going on? Um, I don't know. And that's what we have here. So we go back to integrations, JavaScript. We can see here, swap target still not found. Well, actually you might already have it set up correctly. And to check that is if you go into a different window or browser in this case, and what you would do is you would one, make sure your cache is cleared. So let me go ahead and grab the URL here. Make sure your cache is cleared. And then what you're going to do is put in your URL, question mark, GCLID equals test. So what this does is simulate a Google ads click. And once you do that, you can see wherever you have your swap target, things are swapping. So that is essentially how you um, connect and create a website pool on your landing page or website and use it within Google Ads. We'll set up the convergent actions later once we set up the mobile website target. So let's get into the next half of this video here. Okay, next let's go ahead and create our number for our Google Ads call extension. Same process here, we're going to click create number and then here are these settings you are going to want to use. So use it online, somewhere else in an ad extension on mobile devices. So. This is going to be the same thing as um, in the website pool setup. So wherever you want your phone numbers to be uh, forwarded to, this is where you're going to put that. Number setup, you have three options here. So again, you have toll free, which is an additional charge, I believe, per month. Numbers local to, and then specific area codes. So we're going to have and name this mobile call extension. And then number features. Um, same thing, call recording and whisper message, and we're going to activate tracking number. So what is next? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna X out of here and start integrating things with Google Ads. So integrations, Google Ads, sign in with Google, choose an account, and allow to design, continue, allow. Okay. And let me double check here. Here we go. All right, so this is going to be the Google Ads account that we are linking call rail with. And then what we're going to want to do is we're gonna create a separate conversion action for first time and repeat caller. So essentially what that means is that we only want to track first time callers. We don't care about repeat callers, right? Like to us, a conversion is someone new calls and is interested in our business and wants to buy, not someone that continuously calls and then racks up some false um, conversion numbers, right? Um, unclick forms here, click activate. Okay, so what is next? Let's go ahead and go into our um, Google Ads account, refresh here. And then I don't like this appearance at all. I'm going to switch this back just for now. Change view, dismiss, hide. Okay. So let's go into our conversions. Okay, so in the conversions tab, you can see here from call rail, we have first time phone call and repeat phone call imported. So let's go ahead and get rid of repeat phone calls because again, I don't want to falsify and jack up our conversion numbers for people that just call over and over and over. So let's go ahead and remove repeat phone call. Great. And we're going to create a new conversion action. So phone call, it's going to be calls from ads using call extension only. Continue. All right, this is going to be someone that calls from our mobile click to call. Mobile click to call. Um, our value is going to be don't use a value because it can go for any service, essentially for us. Um, so this doesn't matter right now. Call, so we want to do for our account, I should say. Um, again, we only want 
um, every, for one person, right? So we don't want someone to keep calling and falsify our numbers. Calling 60 seconds is a very good call. That's what we quantify as a lead. Uh, and the rest you can leave as is. So we've gone ahead and done that. So what to do now? Let's go ahead and go back. Go into our campaign. Uh, let's see, where are we at? Assets and create a new call asset here. So we're going to link an account level one, why not? And the phone number from call rail we just made, right? So let's get out of here, go back into tracking. So mobile call extension, we want this to be our tracking number. We're gonna copy that, go into Google ads, paste it here. And our conversion action is going to be mobile click to call, save. And there we go. Um, so essentially that's how you set up mobile kits a call in Google ads and track those conversions. Um, just in, just to get ahead of it. So sometimes Google ads does flag these um, tracking numbers, right? They say that these aren't real numbers. Um, and that's essentially they're going to deny your ad from running or these running alongside your ad. To counteract that, what you can do actually is you go into tools and settings, data manager, and then you need to link um, your analytics and then Google Search Console to Google Ads. Go back to your phone phone number. You can kind of just edit it, you know, make it whatever you want and say, just change a digit and then change it. Then you would change it back, right? I don't know why the error is occurring, but then you would change it change a digit, save, change it back to what the call number, the, the tracking number is to essentially submit the um, asset again. And then once you've gone ahead and linked analytics and call rail to Google ads, it should work just fine and it shouldn't get flagged again. I'm not sure why this is, but Google likes the legitimacy of it. And essentially that is how you um, use call rail and Google ads together. Alrighty guys, so um, that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, just to recap what we did. So we've created a number pool and have add the number pool to our website, right? We've tracked that within Google ads. Um, just to reiterate, I think I kind of glossed over it. Your number pool, any numbers from the number pool that are called are going to be re recorded as a first time phone call. And then for the call extension, they're going to record it as the mobile crypto call. We've done website pools. We have created a number for, for a Google ads asset and have tracked that now within Google ads. We have troubleshooted in case a phone number essentially does not work within Google ads. If you, if the swap targets aren't working, what to do. And after all of that, you should be ready to go ahead and collect all the conversions correctly using call rail and Google ads. So, that's going to be it for the video, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I know I might have glossed over a few things. I'd be happy to answer them. Um, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And any other information I will be putting into the description of the video. So without any further ado, guys, I will see you.